And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by CoolKid260, who writes, It looks like Paramount decided... Uh, uh, it looks like Paramount decided and changed a lot of their upcoming films with the big one is MI7 coming out next year and Top Gun Maverick now coming out this December. With everything going so well with the vaccine rollout, why would Paramount do this since this doesn't help the new streaming app Paramount Plus? All right. Thanks a lot for that, cool kid. And yes, for those of you who may not have seen or heard about this, Paramount has just moved. This just happened late last week. Moved a lot of their movies, including Top Gun 2 and, of course, their new Mission Impossible movie, which has been the center of a lot of news stories as, as Tom Cruise has been struggling to get that thing done. They have been moving those things around, and they've both been pushed back a little bit. The question that Cool Kid asks is a very legitimate question. Why would you push these things back? When we're seeing like the success of something like Godzilla versus Kong is having, more and more vaccines are rolling out. As long as you're not a state like Michigan that can't seem to get their heads around some basic <laughs> principles. Uh, in most, a lot of places in the country, we're seeing COVID rates go down. Why would they make this move? I think the reason they make this move is really more for traditional reasons rather than pandemic ones. This comes to us from the folks over at Deadline who write the following. Top Gun Maverick is leaving its July 2nd weekend for November 19th, taking over the release date where Paramount slash Skydance's other Tom Cruise sequel, Mission Impossible 7, resides. So, Mission Impossible 7 was supposed to come out on November 19th. It is moving now, and since that spot is now vacant, they see that as a very lucrative month for this type of a movie. They decided to retake that spot back with Top Gun Maverick. Anyway, meanwhile, Mission Impossible 7 will now open on May 27th, 2022, Memorial Day weekend. A holiday frame that has been the traditional home for the franchise for its first 1996 chapter and its 2000 uh, year sequel. Top Gun 2 moves to a date where it will be up against Will Smith drama King Richard, so totally different demographic. That's, by the way, Aaron Cummings' new movie. MI7 takes over Paramount's Dungeons & Dragons four-day holiday date. Of course, Dungeons & Dragons was recently moved. Uh, putting the film up against Disney's unlimited, untitled live-action feature and Lionsgate John, uh, Lionsgate's John Wick Chapter 4. So basically, what it looks like here is that they made the decision to move these films not for pandemic reasons, but because of traditional reasons why a studio may want to move. They saw an opportunity now that there was some empty space on the Memorial Day weekend. They thought one of our Tom Cruise movies would do great on that Memorial Day weekend. Let's move it. Moving it created a gap that they themselves were able to fill, saying, we think that's a good time for this. Yes, everything's moving in the right direction with the pandemic, but we think in November we can do even better. So they slid it over there. This, to me, especially with some space opening up, Rob, in that Memorial Day weekend, Tom Cruise is an actor who just kind of shouts Memorial Day almost better than any other actor out there. That seemed like a good move. So actually, I look at this, and even though we've grown tired over the past year, obviously, me more than anybody, of hearing about movies getting delayed, this one actually looks like it makes sense. and It looks like a strategic move more than anything else to me, Rob. Anyway, Rob, you saw these, these uh, switching around in the release schedule thing for these two Tom Cruise movies. What do you make of it? Well, look, I mean, obviously... <laughs> We've heard all the stories about the making of Mission Impossible 7 and how difficult it was in in the world in the age of COVID. So having more time to put it together and prep Mission Impossible 8, I think can only be a good thing. And ultimately, I'm sure Top Gun Maverick is ready to go. But letting, you know, they, they've shown that uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong has made it made theatrical releases viable again. Even though we've got COVID cases going up around the world in places in places where it matters, cases are coming down. So I think there's a lot of people, especially Warner Brothers, that might regret the idea of it. Yep, we're going to go day and date with all of our movies in streaming and in theaters. So I think just pushing things around from this perspective, it works out all the way around. It works out scheduling-wise. It allows movies to have a little bit more time to breathe in terms of post. And look, the world... Top, well, the world's waited for Top Gun Maverick since the 80s. It can wait a little longer. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. We've been waiting forever. Dude, I still it was the last Comic Con that actually happened in San Diego. Remember, there wasn't one last year. It was the one before that where Tom Cruise came out and said, Hey guys, I've got a trailer for Top Gun Maverick to show you. Here we are in 2021. We still haven't got the movie. You're right. We wait a long time. We can wait a little bit more, and I think it's going to work out for them. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this move by Paramount? I, I personally think it makes good strategic sense, even though I am kind of itching to see these two new movies. What do you guys think about it? Jump on down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys. 